The latest business to get hit and we understand there's now a second crime scene. Well, so there's a second store that was hit about five miles away from here in the city of Detroit. It's possible they could be connected, but there are so many of these smash grabs happening now that it takes a while to connect all the dots. Let me get out of the way and show you this crime scene. This is a party store here near Nine Mile and Hoover in the city of Warren. And as Mike zooms in, you get a better idea of just how terrible the damage there is. You can see the portion of that half wall is just laying on top of itself. There is glass all over the front of this building. There is wine all over the floor because they had wine bottles out there. The coffee machine is smashed. That's laying on the ground and all of the windows and doors busted out. They have got a whole lot of mess and a whole lot of money that they're going to have to spend to get all of this cleaned up. You can see the workers are still in there trying to put some of this back together to see if they can reopen or at least open in a manageable hour this morning. But again, there is so much debris and so much stuff in there to sift through. Now, as I mentioned, this is only the first crime scene. Take a look at this video. There's another liquor store that was hit about five miles away, Lynch Liquor. That is on Van Dyke, not far off of I-94. So again, there's absolutely no way to know right now if these two uh, uh, smasher grabs are connected. But again, they did happen at about, uh, this one was about 4.45 in the morning. The Lynch Liquor one, the one you're looking at right now, was around the same time frame. Now back out here live looking at this one, the goal, according to the owner of this place, was to get the money out of the ATM. However, they got in there, the two guys that busted in got in there, got to the ATM, realized it had already been closed out and shut down and the money, uh, the cash box removed from the ATM, so they couldn't even get anything out of it. So they drove this Dodge Ram into the building, smashed it all up to try to get to the ATM, got to the ATM, and then realized it was empty. Interestingly enough, we've, we were just told, the owner told us, that there was an undercover warrant officer around when this happened. They chased the Durango that was uh, here as the getaway vehicle. They lost sight of that, though, and weren't able to catch anybody. So, ever on round of the bottom line, is that these smash and grabs continue. This is an ongoing problem in Metro Detroit, and specifically at this one, they did all of that damage, causing so much problems and headaches for the owners of this store, and they didn't even get anything. Oh, you just certainly feel for these business owners, because yeah. now they're gonna have to, of course, get the repairs, however Cost much time the they may not be open. It's just a big inconvenience. Yeah. Nick, thank you.